there. Uh, my name is Tolu, if you didn't know. I'm one of Max Waldman's best friends. Let me tell you about my little friend, Max. Waldman, Waldman, Waldman. Waldman, he was born in 1919, Brooklyn, New York, to Romanian parents. Man, them days. Waldman was actually eight when his father had died. Mm leaving his poor mom with five kids to take care of. But she couldn't do it all alone. So she had to send him into an orphanage. Oh. Let me tell you about my good friend. Waldman was part of the Civil Conservation Corps, where he first started photography. He later attended Buffalo State Teachers College and then the Albright Art School. After he attended the Art Sculpting College, in 1947, then he traveled to Dade County, Florida, where he photographed the Color Time Photo Essay. Waldman's artwork brings back the decade boom, back in the 70s. Waldman became a successful commercial photographer, specializing in industrial fashion and commercial photography. Let me tell y'all. That guy Waldman, he had a cramped up studio in Manhattan. I remember we used to call a cab. Hey, taxi, taxi. Okay, okay, back to Waldman. <laughs> a 1970 assignment from Life magazine to photograph recently defected Russian ballerina Natalia Makarova turned his attention to dance. The timing couldn't have been better. The defection of glamorous stars such as Makarov, Rudolf, and Bar. Shikhanov had whetted the public's appetite for dance. Waldman's approach to dance photography differed from the prevailing practice of documenting dancers in rehearsal and on stage under circumstances carefully controlled by dance companies. Waldman made his images grainy so that they would not be a hard documentation, but more of an illusion. Waldman's work has been published in three books. And his images are in the collections of prestigious institutions such as the Museum of Modern Art in New York and George Eastman House International Museum of Photography and Film in Rochester, New York. These are some of the fascinating photographs that Waldman took. <laughs> I had to recreate some of Waldman's work. The photos I shot featuring Juliet and Diallo was taken next to the cafeteria of Eleanor Roosevelt High School. The lighting was so perfect there that I had to take a chance. Please enjoy. <laughs> Waldman later died March 1st, 1981, at the age of 61. His legacy still lives on today. 
Much love. Just be